what happened last night or in the last two days since I haven't been on TikTok? Because as soon as I got back on, I found that the vegan teacher not only attacked Call Me Chris yet again because of the video that Call Me Chris made called I'm Done, but she also went after a four-month-old baby and caused her followers to attack this four-month-old that has done nothing wrong simply because the vegan teacher has beef with the father. We're going to be talking about this today, and I, again, I wish I could say that I'm surprised. I wish I could say that I'm shocked, but in one way I am, in one way I'm not. So, without any further ado, grab your snacks, grab your drinks, and hold on to your sanity, kids, because here we go again. It's time to talk about the vegan teacher. Just roll the fucking intro. You know, part of me feels like I should get one of those things that, you know, they have at like workplaces that says days without incident. I feel like I need to get on a piece of paper and put days without the vegan teacher like right behind me because I feel like I should at this point. <laughs> I say at the end of these videos, oh man, maybe I can finally go another month or two without talking to her. Because part of me wants to be done talking about her, but as long as she's going to keep doing this shit to people, I'm going to keep calling her out when I feel like it's warranted. Like today. Like the last video I did maybe a week or two ago. I honestly, I don't remember... <laughs> I try not to know how many days it's been, so I can sigh and go, ugh. Yeah, it's that time again. How long has it been? Only two weeks? Yeah. You know what? Hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quickly make one of those and slap it up. Now we're going to put it up. I know it's not exactly hung up in the right place where you can actually see it, but like, it's there. Okay, it's there. I can't do anything about, you know, inverting the camera because I look, I think I look funny when I invert the camera. But anyways, we're going to talk about this shit because what the actual f So if you guys don't know who um, Ethan Trace is, Ethan Trace has been one of the biggest content creators, kind of like me, actively recognizing the danger and the weird and destructive influence that that vegan teacher has and unlike the other content creators who kind of just treat her like a joke like this is just her character that she's playing which i know firsthand that it's not so ethan trace has actively been one of those people just like me seeing her for what she truly is and has been trying to get her removed from tiktok specifically because he has a really big pull on tiktok he is verified me and him have had a couple interactions, kind of like acquaintances, I guess, at this point. Um, just back and forth. He likes my videos or my tweets, and I like his. It's it's fine. And I have been watching his journey, you know, with, you know, him getting married, him, he has gotten married, and he just had a beautiful, beautiful baby girl named Melody, which, again, congrats to you. And Kat, Ethan, if you're watching this, she is gorgeous. Don't listen to these people. Because, yeah, people decided to, after the vegan teacher made this video, which I'm going to play for you guys right now. Congratulations to Ethan Trace, who just became a dad to a beautiful vegan daughter. You have some fucking nerve. Was being racist and homophobic not good enough for you? Where do you get the audacity to come for my child? Clearly, I live in your head rent-free, and you just can't stand the fact that I keep getting you banned off this platform over and over and over again for violating community guidelines. Might I add, one of TikTok's community guidelines is, and I quote, we prohibit activities that perpetuate the abuse, harm, endangerment, or exploitation of minors on TikTok, which is exactly what you did in your video with my daughter to promote your stupid vegan agenda. How dare you promote misinformation that I am putting my daughter on a vegan diet. You know why she's not? Because any parent who forces their baby, their toddler, or their kid to go on a vegan diet is a child abuser. That is child abuse. In no universe am I a bad guy for eating meat and using dairy products. That's called being normal. 
You want to know who bad guys are? Sick freaks like you that attack people's children online. My daughter is off limits. Oh, and also to all you sickos in her comment section who actually believe that lying sociopath, fuck you. And to all you who made degrading comments about my daughter's appearance, you can fuck all the way off. My daughter is perfectly healthy. She is very well taken care of. I will show you. Formula. Formula. Oh, and look here. More formula. By the way, Melody's teeth are about to come in, which means we could start to move her to solid foods. And then soon, I'm going to introduce her to burgers and ribs and steak and chicken. And she's going to be a perfectly normal, healthy child. And I'm going to make sure when she grows up to know to stay away from sick, evil people like you and your demented followers. Read my lips, Karen. I am never going vegan. And you and your sociopath followers can cry about it until the end of your days. Mmm, that's a good burger. I think I need to wash it down, though. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have 10 pounds of chicken thighs that have been marinating in my fridge for 48 hours that I'm going to go throw on the grill, and later, I'm going to have one of my edible gummies and sleep like a baby tonight. Good day. So, as you can see in this video, which I had to download a stitch because, unfortunately, when I found out about the situation from somebody, um, she had already deleted this video, and I think it was in re in response to the videos that Kat and Ethan themselves had made, because this is a very good example of one thing that the vegan teacher does. She takes what people care about. She takes what people have either experienced or she knows is personal, and then she makes a video about it claiming that it's just for the animals and it's just for veganism when she knows when she makes these videos especially after what i went through that her followers will actively attack and threaten and demean and just pick at anything that this specific person that she has called out on their whatever at this point she will use anything that people care about to further manipulate her audience and to turn her audience against people that are exposing the truth. Because she hates, she hates anybody who calls her out or is has any modicum of proof or inkling that thinks that she's not a good person. And I've seen this with Ethan. I've seen this with, with um call me chris because call me chris made a video about the vegan teacher using a marker and it not being vegan and that's why she keeps going after the call me chris because again she knew she proved something that the vegan teacher didn't know and that is why she's actively attacking call me chris to this day and the reason why she keeps going after me and attacking things like my own essay the fact that i'm fat I mean, she made a whole video on here on YouTube that got 20,000 views that uh, fat shamed me, not to mention using a video of my sobbing face after I lost my first TikTok account, which had 18, well, actually 80,000 followers on it. I was really close to hitting 100,000. And it's all because I was showing the proof. I was showing the clips. I was showing the screenshots. This is exactly what the vegan teacher does. She knows what her following is like. I know because I messaged her all about it. I have a whole video with all the screenshots, which I might actually make an updated version because she actually did respond to me. And I don't think I ever showed that response, but I want to prove everything with that, of my own experience with this woman up until this point. But the fact that she has attacked a four-month-old baby... A four-month-old who has done nothing to anybody. If anything, this baby has been nothing but a light to Kat and Ethan. I have seen the complete change that being parents has made on their lives. And it is beautiful when you see a baby being loved by such wonderful parents. Because unfortunately, some people don't end up with that situation. So it's nice when you see it. Anyway, a four-month-old baby simply because she does not like the dad and people have been trying to report ethan and cat for child abuse they have been 
insulting the baby's looks and saying things like she looks emaciated, like she needs to be taken away, all this other stuff, and even more that Ethan shows on his own video with the some of the comments that he's seen. I seen some other ones that are just gross and disgusting. And this baby should not be involved. I don't care if I have beef with someone that has kids. I'm going to call them out specifically. And I have. Because that's what the vegan teacher is. The vegan teacher is a mother. You think that she would fucking understand that when you call someone's children out because they have an issue with you, that is uncalled for. That should be off the table. You should know that no matter how bad your beef gets, you should not drag other people's children into it, especially when they're an infant. She has not even been on this planet in more than six months, and she's already being used as a fucking pawn in the vegan teacher's game, simply because Ethan calls her out. And it's not the first time that she's used someone's kids to try to get a dig at somebody. She did it with Gordon Ramsay. She literally went back on Gordon Ramsay's daughter's account and found like a high school musical challenge. I know I talked about this. Like, I think it was a year ago or something. She keeps doing this. And every single time, it, the, the outrage only lasts like a week before people f completely forget about it. Just go back to liking her content, being like, I know she's kind of crazy and dumb, but she's kind of funny. It's not funny. This is not funny. A literal baby is being insulted by at least over a hundred people online at this time because the vegan teacher made a video without the consent of these parents. And as Ethan proved it in his own TikTok, that is going against TikTok guidelines. This is not okay. This should not be forgotten about. And I am tired. I am so fucking tired after the last two years of saying that this behavior is going to get worse. She's going to keep bringing things into this that do not matter and is going to cause someone harm. What do you think might happen to this baby? Regardless if her parents show her online or not, because I know some person out there is going to have that kind of issue with me. I am not here for that. I am not here for that energy, okay? I am here because I am sick and tired of this woman bullying people and attacking people, using what they care about, using what they love, and standing by when she makes these hateful ass posts and her followers cause so much destruction and like they're reporting again they're reporting ethan and cat simply for one video that the vegan teacher made again without their consent of the photo of their child like what the absolute fuck and i think it's funny that like a year ago i think somebody actually commented on the one that i made about her using gordon ramsay's daughter and is like well she's an adult now she's able to respond to the vegan teacher if she wants it's not like she's attacking a child well the behavior just escalated to her attacking a, a an, an, an infant that's not even six months old when I said this behavior last year was going to escalate and, and the year before that in 2020, I meant it. I meant it because people like the vegan teacher that hide behind these facades of being funny, creative characters like Trisha Paytas or any other person that you found out later on was not the real them on camera and has been playing a character since character this entire fucking time i think the same thing happened with like poppy she was actually just a paid actress and it was a set and everything i remember that happened long time ago like she's not playing a character i should know i have private instagram dms of her being this exact same person standing by while my life was being actively threatened and harassed and stalked to the point that I had to stop streaming because every single time I get these weird cryptic messages that I have screenshots of. I have proof of all of this. I'm not saying this out my ass. And trust me, why would I lie about this? Why would I lie after watching and observing and being told about this stuff time after time after time? Why on earth? I think I know more about the vegan diet 
without ever being on it. I think I tried it once when I was had an ED, and then I got to be like 120 pounds, and I was just eating canned fruit and vegetables, and it fucked me up. So, I think I know more about this vegan diet shit in the last two years than I have than I ever thought I would, and I understand. There are good vegan creators out there, but this woman is actively using the animals or veganism to just spread this hatred to attack anyone that stands in her way, anyone that she don't fucking like, and it's getting old. It's getting so tiring. Is it really going to take somebody getting seriously injured or taking their own life because of the harassment for someone to finally fucking pay attention that has the power to do something about this? I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. I feel like I am honestly talking to a brick fucking wall at this point. And you can see in Call Me Chris's video that as soon as that video popped up that she made a year ago about mocking C Chris's SA, how it affected Chris. She very well knows if she really was a nurse and she's not lying about that. Um, you can see how it affected Chris. You can see how this bullshit has affected me and everyone else. It's just so tiring and exhausting to keep bringing this up and bringing this up and bringing this up. And that's not to mention what she did about Chris. This is only about Ethan and the baby right now. This is about that situation. Do you want me to talk about the thing that she did to call me Chris? Because I might as well just include it in this video. I wanted to vent so badly last night, but nobody... Nobody, none of my friends were really on, and when I found out about, found out about this situation, it was like 2 o'clock at night, and I desperately wanted to vent to somebody so I wouldn't vent on camera, but here the fickety fuck we are, so I guess the mask is off. Um, I'm trying to be as respectful as possible, but it's getting so damn hard when she keeps doing this shit crossing boundaries, being homophobic, being racist, attacking people, attacking their family, attacking, 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 and never looking at herself and apologizing. Never, ever. Because she thinks that if it gets someone to be vegan, she is allowed to traumatize, she is allowed to have her followers attack and stalk and threaten and whatever the fuck, as long as they become vegan and they thank her for it. Trust me, every single time she makes these videos, I've realized that she always puts herself as the reason why these people become vegan. It's a power thing. It's f a fucking power thing, guys. She always says... Tell the world that you're now vegan and that 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 Miss Katie, that vegan teacher helped you to be that way. Subscribe to my channel. Help me save the animals. If you really wanted to help save the animals, you would be encouraging your followers and subscribers to donate to charities like the ASPCA instead of harmful companies like PETA that are sponsoring you. Because they, you obviously, oh, I'm sorry, you obviously don't care about the animals because they kill over 80% of the animals in their shelters. <sighs> now let's move on to the audacity that she had with this new video about Call Me Cress. I'm going to go ahead and play it. <laughs> So, as you can see, she's telling Call Me Chris to not eat dogs. One, that's spreading misinformation because Call Me Chris has never mentioned once that she's eating dogs, nor does the TikTok in the video have anything to do with a dog whatsoever. It's just Call Me Chris going, <laughs> It's a trend. It's a trend on TikTok right now. And it trends every, every so often. Literally nothing to do with dogs. So why did you have to put quit eating dogs? You didn't have to. You're literally spreading misinformation. And then the one, the kicker that made me really want to talk about this specific video was the hashtags that she used. She used everything from 
hashtag bully to hashtag sexual abuse is not a joke. Which again, she's implying using that hashtag that call me Chris is lying about her essay. She's saying it without saying it. And honestly, I think she thought she was being sneaky, but you think I wouldn't catch it after all these years of your bullshit? <laughs> nah, honey. Screenshot that shit. I have it. I have copies. Because you think I don't have copies? After the one time that uh, I, didn't, I didn't take copies and I needed to show something on screen and I realized I didn't have it? I have copies. I have copies of everything. Like, I have copies of shit that I haven't been able to even put on YouTube because it was so bad. Things that were said to me that were so bad that even YouTube's like, ha ha ha, no. No, honey, no. That can't be on here. Um, yeah, so again, she's calling, call me, and even using, like, hashtag bully, hashtag SA is not a joke. Again, applying that call me Chris is joking about her SA, which she never has joked about it. As far as I'm aware, she's never joked about it. So you're basically implying once again without implying it because again, you've lied and said that you weren't implying that you were saying that she wasn't SA8 or not. Like you literally said that she was trying to garner sympathy. I put this in my original video a year ago, the screenshot of her implying that Call Me Chris was lying. And then she turned around and flipped the script and said, oh, no, I'm, I don't mean that. I don't mean that because you got too much heat. Because, you know, people like me and other people that watch Call Me Chris and know that she's a kind, sweet soul that does not deserve your bullshit. You know, I might deserve it. I kind of feel that way. That's just how my mental health is. I feel like everything bad happens to me because it's my fault. I must have done something to deserve all this trauma. You know, I have heaping helpings of trauma. I'm not going to trauma dump on anyone today. But holy shit, if I had to give an entire presentation about my own trauma, <sighs> it would be over like two hours long. Maybe if it was the shortened version, let's just say, okay? So, call me Chris don't deserve this. She never has. She made a funny video about you using a Crayola marker and you saw it as a personal attack. So, what the fuck? And I know this might be all over the place at this point, but I am just that fucking upset. I am that fucking upset. That it is- that it, she literally- it took Call Me Chris making a video for people to realize a situation that happened a year ago that I talked about. A year ago. Go look on my vegan teacher playlist. I have an entire playlist that I have been working on since 2020 of everything that she's done. And it's not like for lack of trying that I haven't tried to talk about her because I have. I have. I only talk about the shit that I feel like needs to be documented like this. Because it's establishing her pattern of behavior because this is exactly who she really is. And I'm tired of people overlooking all of this bullshit simply because they think that she's funny. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Like, I am just so tired, honestly. And nobody deserves this. Nobody deserves her followers to go into their comment sections and tell them awful things like to kill themselves or to hurt themselves or that their, follow that their followers are going to show up at their door in a car and is going to cut your brakes and is going to take you from your home and shoot you in the head. Like, this is all stuff that I've been told personally, or being told during a live stream where I'm streaming Minecraft that so I can't say who, but they really want to know the details of your essay. Or how my parents died, because I've mentioned that my biological mom died when I was very young, and it was very traumatic. So ever since I've mentioned that, I keep getting questions like that every single time I live stream, and that's why I haven't live streamed. And I am so, so fucking sick of her doing this to Call Me Chris because I see how it's affecting Call Me Chris. Like, I'm already deeply affected by everything that's happened to me, but I don't want that same shit to happen to this poor sweet woman. She's been through enough. This woman has been through a fucking enough, and you need to leave her alone. Like, she already has enough going on in her life. She already has done had enough gone on in her life. Like, I might think I deserve it, but I know she fucking don't. I know she fucking don't. I know Ethan and this baby, the, the baby Melody, 
She definitely doesn't fucking deserve this shit. She hasn't even been on this planet for a year yet, and you're already using her as a pawn in your bullshit. You see how low that is? I have never brought your kids into this unless I said that I heard a rumor. Because again, I'm reestablishing that this is a rumor. I don't have actual proof for this. But your daughter supposedly or your son got married and they didn't want and you didn't go to their own wedding because they had me options for their guests. And not to mention, there's a whole ass video of you saying that you weren't proud to be a mother, a grandmother or a Canadian. And then a month later, you're starting to make videos about how great being a grandma is and how great being a Canadian is when you literally said that you were not proud of it, that the only thing you were proud of was being a vegan. The math ain't mathing and make it make fucking sense. Because how is it okay for you to go and do this to everyone else, but as soon as people start calling you out on your shit and you start trending for the reasons that you don't want to be trending because nobody's fucking listening to you because of this shit. You think that you're making all these people be vegan. People are literally just telling you this shit because they know how you are. They know you feed off of this attention. Half of these people are just saying that they're vegan so they can get into your fucking discord. So they can see everything happening behind the scenes. I know I have friends that are in your Discord server. And they're not fucking vegan. Even going through your crazy ass way of your fucking Discord server. Where she has people literally identify themselves as vegan. If they're vegan or not. Their name, their age, and where they live. And then they have to get on a special Discord FaceTime call and show all the vegan foods that they have in their cupboards. They have to show that there's no meat in their fridge. You know how easy it is to take meat out of your fridge and just not show it on camera? It's pretty easy. People are just treating you like it's a joke. People aren't actually following you to become a vegan. People are just lying and saying this because they know it feeds your ego. You have no real power besides being an awful, hateful human being. That's all you are. You don't have any power. You're not this vegan saint that you probably think that you are because you raise yourself as this high moral being of veganism and that you are the voice of the animals and that you are the voice of veganism and that Gary Yavosky somehow gave you his blessing to be the next saint of veganism when his own colleagues couldn't stand his ass because he was so crazy. That's the man you're emulating. That's the man that made you his so his so-called um successor. It seems fake and it seems phony. And I'm so sick and tired of this because it's just about clout. It's just about fame. It's just about stroking her ego. And if it causes people to get hurt or to have mental health issues in the process, that's what she's going to fucking do. And we can see it plainly with this video, with these two videos right here. We can see it. She's attacking a baby. A baby again. Like... I am still wrapping my head around the fact that she went after a fucking baby. That is so fucking low. Like, I thought, you know, fat shaming me was low. Allowing, you know, all the harassment was low. I thought, you know, what she did to call me Chris was low. I thought, you know, all the homophobia, the racism, using a doll from Daniel Tiger's neighborhood to say the N-word. Or telling Tommy in it to show girls his fruits and vegetables. And then clearly trying to pin that on Ethan Trace because he was the one that drew attention to it and got your big account banned to have 1.8 million followers. I mean, I can keep going on, honey. I've been here. I've been here. I have all the proof. <laughs> it might be on several SD cards because I have like five SD cards now with, that are like a hundred and some gigabytes big of just evidence of this shit. Like, you think I'm not watching if I'm not making a video about you? I hear it from people. I don't even look at your shit unless I'm told to. And even then, even with that, I still have that men that much proof. This is just so fucking low. 
I just, I fucking can't. Like, last night, this just... I sat there looking at my phone like this. For like five minutes. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to feel. I'm like, is this even real? Is this even real? And then I seen that Ethan was responding to it as well as Kat. And I'm like, oh my god, it was fucking real. Y'all, I didn't know what to do. I literally wanted to make a video last night, but I went to film and my camera was having issues. So I'm using someone else's phone right now to record this. I'm just so fucking baffled. I'm just so fucking appalled and disgusted. And what is it really going to take for someone with power? Because I can't personally sue her. One, I don't have money. Two, I've already been told that because it's international and I don't have concrete evidence and proof that it was her, in fact, telling these people to do this to me, that I have no case. Like, I've already looked into all that legality, legal option shit. I have no power besides making these videos. And that's why I continue to keep making them in case something actually happens to me because if something actually does and someone does actually show up to my house with a gun and shoots me or cuts my brake and i end up in a car accident these videos are going to stay up these videos are going to stay up and yes i do fear for my life sometimes because i still am getting harassed and i don't want this to happen to this poor baby or call me Chris, or Ethan, or Kat, or any of the people that keep getting fucking attacked by this woman. Because it's not okay. It's not fair. She's not playing a fucking character. She's actually like this. And I'm so sick and tired of people treating her like she's just this funny, ha 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 ha, let's just make some easy content and bully the vegan teacher. That's not what this is about. This is about spreading awareness. This right here is about spreading awareness of this behavior because so many content creators have been kicked off for so much less and it's getting old. I just don't know what to do at this point. Honestly, I keep making video after video after video. I keep talking about this. I keep reiterating the same exact points and it feels like nothing is getting done. You know how tiring it is? to suffer with all this bullshit, to keep constantly trying to keep up with my other content, when I have people in all of my comment sections on all of my other videos telling me the shit that she's doing, like that's the only content that matters, when it's really not. I enjoy making my movie reviews. I enjoyed streaming Minecraft because I really fucking love Minecraft, okay? I really fucking li love Minecraft, okay? And I really wanted to share more things, but it's like, I want to keep going with these videos, but I don't even know if I'm making an impact or not at this point. Am I even making an impact? Is anyone even fucking listening? Like, I understand these videos get quite a few views, but that's not what matters. I want someone that has the power to do something to see this video. That's the one fucking view I want. That is the one view I make these videos for. It's not to get a lot of views from a lot of people. If that happens, it happens, and I'm grateful. I'm grateful that this video is getting seen by more people because hopefully it will get that one view that I have been dying for someone to do. I am dying for someone with any kind of power that can sue her for everything. And if I'm able to join the lawsuit, I fucking might. I fucking might. If I'm able to join someone's class action or whatever, I will. Because I want this woman to be held accountable before something bad happens. This is exactly what happens when you give someone that doesn't deserve it some power. Because someone is going to end up getting hurt. As soon as I seen a baby was attacked, I saw red. And I never get angry. You know, I might get annoyed, I might get a little bit frustrated, but I'm not ever this just, I'm angry. A baby should never have ever crossed your mind, Miss Katie. A baby should never ever have crossed your fucking mind. Never. But yet you think this is okay. For a baby to be called 
ugly and emaciated and her parents being reported for child abuse. Do you see that kind of destruction? Because take it from a kid that has been taken away. It destroyed my life. It led me to be here today fighting you. Because of bullies like you have made my life a living fucking hell. And saying that, oh, it's not that bad. It's just a joke. It's just a character. It's just funny, funny, ha ha. It's not. And I see through it. And I'm done dealing with this. I will keep making videos about the vegan teacher as long as I can. Does it annoy me? Does it frustrate me? Does it anger me? Yes. But again, reiterating that this isn't about fame. This isn't about views. This isn't about it just being easy content because I know some character, I mean, some creators treat her as just easy content. This isn't easy content to make. <laughs> At least for me, this isn't easy. This shit, not easy. And I'm just tired. Like, this is a baby. This should never have crossed your mind. Attacking a baby. Making this baby in a video without even asking her parents, one, two, saying that she's vegan when she's clearly not, three, you should never have had his baby's name in your mouth. Obviously, like Ethan said, you think about her, rent, you think about him rent free because what is this bullshit? You're attacking his child. You don't see him going and attacking yours or me attacking your kids or attacking your husband. I've left your husband completely out of this. You want me to start on him? Because I fucking will, sweetheart. I'll dig right on into him. Just like I've dug into you. You want to start dragging family members into this bullshit? Bring it the fuck on. Because I don't have any family left. You can't find shit. I have nothing to lose. You want to light this candle? Let's fucking light this candle. You want to start attacking people's family members? I'm sure I can look right on into your husband, honey. Or your kids. Maybe I'll find your kids and get an interview. Hmm. Maybe if anyone has a tip about the vegan teacher's kids, maybe uh, drop their links. Maybe uh, if you know who they are and they have any kind of social media, drop the link. I would love to do an interview and see how you really were as a parent. I really would. Because I'm done playing nice. I am this close to being done playing nice. Because you brought a baby into this shit. It's not even my baby. And I'm pissed. So yeah. Before I go any longer and rant anymore... Of this stream of consciousness, I'm going to end the video here. If you guys liked the video, please hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you feel like it, please press those buttons and make a comment. It does help my channel out after all. I am just, what are your guys' thoughts? Please let me know what you're thinking. Because I'm still like flabbergasted at all of this. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I did not want to wake up last night <laughs> after having a nightmare and finding out that this is a, the new nightmare. This is the, the this is the timeline we're living in, where the vegan teacher is attacking a literal infant that cannot even speak yet. So yeah, not to mention reiterating her claims that "Call Me Chris" is a liar. Now she's eating dogs. Like what the f what the fuck, y'all. So yeah, that's what I got for you guys. I love you all so fucking much. So fucking damn much. And I know that I haven't really been on lately, and it's just because all my equipment keeps breaking. I keep getting sick. Like, this year has just been hell on earth. In fact, even my shoulder's, like, fucking killing me right now. So that's why I haven't really been using this hand. I've been using this one, or just holding this one with this hand, because it's not that much movement. See? So... <laughs> Um, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Um, yeah, hopefully in the new year, maybe something will get done and I can finally quit talking about this woman and just move the fuck on. I can't wait for that day, honestly. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I love you all so fucking much and I hope you have the best day. Bye.